Yes, yes, hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Kerichichi. Uh, coming to you live from the train. I'm going from uh, Leeds to London and I uh, forgot to do the vlog at home in Leeds, so kind of doing it uh, on the train. Um, yeah, just to preview the match between um, Arsenal and uh, Fulham. New Year. First of all, uh, Happy New Year. Uh, if you're watching this by tomorrow or today, whenever, um, it's a new year that the Lord has made. Uh, those that have uh, offended in 2018, please uh, do apologize. Let's start on a clean state in 2019. Um, yeah, the game is going to be. It's not going to really be an easy ride. Obviously, we are not happy. Where's the light in here? But like, obviously we are not happy with what happened at uh, Liverpool. But we need to, you know, get over that as soon as possible and uh, focus on uh, Fulham. Fulham uh, won their game only just uh, last uh, when when they played last. Well, whenever they played, yeah, and uh, it's uh, they, they are fighting relegation, and with all these teams in relegation. In the relegation zone is not easy, so I'm hoping that I'm hoping that Arsenal will come out with all guns blazing. The players seem determined. Obviously, they're going to be reeling and they're going to be wanting to score so many goals, you know, just to redeem some pride after what happened at um, Liverpool. Um, the lineup is um, it's going to be, uh, I'm thinking, a straightforward one. Uh, a few of the guys have come back from injury from the training we've seen from the training pictures we've seen today but i don't think they will need to really start um i think the manager will shake the team a little bit i think um a few underperforming players will have to be dropped at the moment they're not performing they have to be dropped and uh, let's see um how it goes uh blackpool coming immediately after that uh, on Saturday, that's another tough away one. The last time we played in the FA Cup was at Nottingham Forest and we lost woefully, so that's another one to keep an eye on. But overall, I expect a very good match, I expect a high pressing one, and uh, let's um, see how it goes. Fortunately, I'm on the train and I don't have my taxis board, so um, looks like I'm gonna go straight into my lineup uh, in goal and I have. Uh, Bernard Nendo, I mean, the five goals he considered at Liverpool, but none was his fault. Um, uh, I think the coach line have to go to back four. Um, I saw Macho Morel training and it wasn't, a, he, they said he had a tight hamstring, not a hamstring injury, so I'm hoping that he'll be fit to play, to be honest, because Kolashinak has been shocking lately. So I'll go for Nacho Morel on the left. Um, when uh, the captain, Laurent Koshene, came on, at least he stayed in the ship, although it looked like Liverpool actually is tough on us, not like, you know, but at least he can put in one or two decent performances. Uh, but against uh, a defender like, um, I mean, a striker like uh, Mitrovic, he, my, he, his movement, hopefully he doesn't struggle, but I will start him um, to play with Socrates, who was a bit rash with that, um, uh, challenge on Salah, I've seen it as a penalty. Initially, I mean, there are no TVs in, in Liverpool, so we didn't see any replay. So we thought it wasn't it was a dive, but it's not a dive, it's a penalty. Uh, so he'll start on the right. Um, Bellerin is back, but I don't think he'll be thrown in. I, I think it's time to give Jenkinson a run. Uh, I mean, I'm surprised I'm saying it, but Jenkinson probably play better than Lichtenstein. And Lichtenstein has been shocking, beyond shocking lately. So, but we are backing him to regain his confidence with Steiner, but for me, give Jenkins any chance. Um, in the midfield, I think it's time to rest um, Torreya. I think he looked tired at, at, uh, at Brighton and also looked tired at uh, Liverpool and made a non characteristic uh, uh, mistake. So I think um, he should be given a rest. Guendouzi comes in with um, Xhaka to pair in the middle. Um, front three. We don't know the situation with Ozil. I mean, sorry, the three are ahead of them. We don't know the situation with Ozil. Probably he is still injured. So I will uh, start Ramsey there in place of him. He, did, he had a quiet game at Liverpool. He still has uh, we're hearing contracts with uh, Juventus, PSG, 
Hopefully his head is still here. I'll start him uh, as well uh, at, as, at the number ten. Um, on the on the left, I'll start uh, uh, Papa Wang. Um, he was quiet at Liverpool. He didn't get service. He was poor. He didn't get service at all. So you will really blame him for that. And then on the right, I'll start uh, your Alexi Wobi, who played really well at um, at uh, at. Uh, at Liverpool, uh, and then uh, up front, uh, I'll start with uh, Alexander Lacazette, who deserves to start these days. Um, Slim and Anas is unlucky to drop out um, because I feel that defensively, I mean, at Liverpool he was he played well, uh, but I think further forward he plays well. But defensively, they play on the right, he seems to be struggling. Unless he's gonna come in at left back, I don't know, but. Uh, he's lucky to be dropped. Uh, yeah, that's the lineup I'll go with. So let me know what you think about the lineup, uh, the formation, and you know, everything. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for your support this 2018. It hasn't been easy. Um, here's to 2019. Please uh, uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Um, yeah, it is what it is. Keep supporting the Arsenal, keep supporting the players. But at the um, former first player players wearing your jersey, I think you should keep supporting him. Allow the coach to make his decision whether to sell him or not. But as long as he keeps wearing your jersey, uh, keep supporting them, they feed off your energy. I know this for a fact. So uh, thank you very much for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.